Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. One of my most requested videos is how I clean my makeup brushes. Um, I talk about this a lot on Snapchat. I've done quite a few snap tutorials about how I dry my brushes and I show my drying rack and everything like that. But today I'm gonna break it down for you, show you exactly what I use to clean my brushes and my beauty blender, give you two different options. One is a product that you can buy, at, you know, it's a little bit higher end at Sephora and one you can get at your drugstore. So if you wanna see how I do this, then keep on watching. So times like when I'm traveling or when I'm doing makeup for say a wedding party or I just have short times in between doing my makeup and I need my brushes clean and I don't have enough time to allow them to dry naturally, sometimes I'll just take a makeup brush or makeup wipe uh, today I'm using my Clinique, um, these are the Pep Start ones, this just happened to be the ones I've been using lately. And I will do a quick clean with my brush. It doesn't, now this is not a thorough clean, it's not gonna get off all the dirt and bacteria, but it's going to do a quick wash of the excess product so that I can go ahead and use the brush later. It will clean it of excess and not completely soak the bristles so that it will dry much faster. And although it's not perfectly clean, it's still, cleaner than it was and it's good enough for a second use tomorrow. So all I'm gonna do is reshape the bristles like so and then hang it upside to dry, upside down to dry. Okay, so to clean my beauty blenders, I'm going to go with warm water, not really hot because I don't wanna burn my hands and not cold either. I wanna get it just a nice warm temperature. And then what you do is you get your beauty blenders really good and clean, or damp I should say, not clean, duh. So I've noticed that if my beauty blenders are actually dry and I start to clean them, it doesn't get them as clean as if they are completely wet. And the other thing is that if I wring them out before I put soap on them, it takes a lot more soap to get them clean. So what you wanna do is get your beauty blenders as expanded as possible and as filled with water as possible. My favorite soap to clean my beauty blender and my brushes with is actually the Beauty Blender Solid. Um, it looks like this, and it comes with a little scrub pad, which comes in really handy for the brushes. I don't really use this for my beauty blenders. I, I kind of feel like it's too rough on them, but for the brushes, it's fantastic. And then if I'm in a pinch and I don't have any, honestly, a bar of Dove Soap does a really great job. I, I feel like you have to use a little bit more, maybe a lot more than the Beauty Blender Soap because the Beauty Blender Soap is obviously made for that but the Dove Soap does a really great job. All right, so now that this is completely filled with water and it's totally expanded, I just take it and swirl it around on the Beauty Blender soap, the solid soap, and you, as you can see, like all of the makeup is starting to come out. And then I just rinse it out, the running water, and you can already see it's getting much cleaner. Fill it back up with water again. I kind of like to squeeze it as I'm going just so that it holds more, wa more uh, water inside and just keep swirling it around. Get it good and clean. So to really get it out, I kind of just like squeeze out everything I can and I wait to make sure that everything coming out of the beauty blender is clean. So sometimes clean will be completely clear if it's an older beauty blender or it will just be running totally pink from the dye in the actual beauty blender itself. This is a newer one. Well, actually both of these are. So you're only gonna see the pink coming out of it. But as you can see, it's just lightly tinted pink and it's totally clean now. And to dry them afterwards, I just take a paper towel and mush them down to get out the excess water so that they can dry completely. And then you've got two completely clean beauty blenders. All right, so now moving on to the brushes. Just a quick tip for you guys, never ever ever soak your brushes in water because this is what will happen. I thought that the easiest way would be to make some hot soapy water, stick your brushes in the water, let them soak and then clean them, and this is the result. So don't do that, learn from my mistakes. Don't mess with your brushes, keep them in excellent condition like this. All right, so I'm gonna show you the two different soaps with for cleaning your brushes, and honestly, you're gonna get the same result. So dampen your brush first with, I like to use warm water, swirl it around, get the soap really good inside the bristles, and then use your pad here. And as you can see, all of the makeup comes off onto the scrubbing pad. Depending on how dirty my brush is, sometimes I like to repeat this process like twice. 
So I'll just rinse it. Honestly, that one time got this one really good and clean, it looks like, but after touching it, I can feel there's some product left in there. So I'm gonna repeat the process. And yeah, there's more product in there. You can tell that the, the suds are like kind of tan. Cause I think I used this last on um, my paint pot, my MAC paint pot with an ochre. So you can see that shade coming out. So get it really good and clean. Then rinse it and then start shaping your brush back to the way that it's supposed to look. This is the uh, flat shader brush from MAC. I wanna say it's a 224. Um, so I'm just squeezing out the excess in this shape it's supposed to be and then I'm gonna pop it in my drying rack to dry. So I bought this brush drying rack on Amazon. I wanna say it was like less than $10. I will link this exact one below for you. If I can't find it, then I'll link the exact closest dupe. Um, and it is awesome. And it breaks apart for travel into three individual pieces. This comes apart. So it's really, really easy to pack up and take with you. I always put either a towel or a paper towel underneath of it just to catch any extra drippies that might come off of your makeup brushes. Um, that way it's catching any excess and you're not getting making a mess on your countertops. So now I'm gonna show you the exact same process using the Dove Bar soap. Um, so I'm just gonna swirl this around on the Dove Bar and as you can see the excess eyeshadow is coming out from this brush, this eyeshadow brush. I've got my soap really good in the bristles so I'm just going to use my scrub pad here to get it out. If you don't have a scrub pad, it's not really that serious. You can do this with your fingers and, and get it clean. It just might take a little bit longer. This kind of is a, a little bit of a hack or a shortcut. And you can create one of these your own with just any type of uh, like acrylic board and some dots from a glue gun. Then I'm gonna turn this back on to warm water and just rinse it out. Um, and then if I need to, I can repeat the process. But as you can see, this is clean now. There's nothing else coming out of this. I try to also turn the water off in between so I'm not running too much water. Um, there we go. All right, so I'm going to reshape my, br my brush bristles and stick it in my drying rack to dry. The really cool thing about this rack is that it is all different sizes. You can actually see how dirty this is for my brushes drying. I've used, this is very well loved, if you can't tell. But there's different sizes for different brushes. And if you don't have a ton of bigger brushes like me, I don't really use the bigger brushes because I use a beauty blender. Um, you can actually double up and put several brushes in these larger holes. All right guys, so that is how I clean my makeup brushes. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I hope maybe you picked up a tip or two. Most importantly, don't soak your brushes in water. Take a lesson from me. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLantra.com, and love y'all so much. Au revoir.